What's up everyone, Kevin Gallagher here, and if you've been paying attention to my YouTube channel, you will know that I made a video not too long ago about the different streaming services and which one was right for me. I'm blown away by your support and watching it, the conversation that's been created in the comments feed of that video, and so because of that, I have felt the need to create a follow-up video about streaming, and so today is an update as to what streaming service that I am using, or services, We've got a couple of them now. And also, what are some things that you're gonna need in order to start the streaming process in your household? So let's get it going. So let's go ahead and start the video with an update. If you remember from the end of that video, I pointed out that we were switching from Hulu to YouTube TV. And my reasoning was it was right for our family based on the channel lineup and the price that we wanted to be at. And I was annoyed that Hulu kept upping their price similar to the way that Comcast or some of the other cable TV providers do. That I want out of my life. Here I am going back to Hulu. It's just the way things are. Sorry, YouTube. I'm a big fan of YouTube, but just not your streaming service. So why? When you compare the two from the outside, they're both $65, well, $64.99 a month. You get the live TV, you get the exact same channel lineup. Before, there was five channels we did not get on Hulu that we really wanted. Now we get all five of those channels. And when you're comparing it at the same price, the reason that Hulu completely edges out YouTube is because of their library of content. So whereas on YouTube, you can only watch a movie if it is airing or if it has aired, on Hulu, you have a massive library full of old TV shows, full of new TV shows, tons of content, movies, and everything else. So switching from YouTube TV back to Hulu, Content was number one, and the second reason was the interface. We absolutely hated using the YouTube interface. It just was a little clunky. The video quality was not as nice. The user interface where you're actually going through the guide, it just works 10 times better, and the video quality is just that much crisper. That is why we've switched back to Hulu Live TV. I think you should check it out. I truly do endorse it. This is not a paid promotion. Hulu's not giving me anything to make this. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. I just want you to have the best information possible as you're looking to get into it. The other two services we use are Netflix and Amazon Prime. Now, Amazon Prime, if you have an Amazon Prime membership anyway, you already get Amazon Prime. So, you know, if you didn't know that before, Merry Christmas, now you know. The other one being Netflix. Netflix is just Netflix. The content on there is excellent. You know, you got a lot of B-rated movies you could go and just watch for hours and just get lost in it. Big fan of Netflix. And honestly, while there are some overlap areas, Hulu and Netflix complement each other very well. We had Disney Plus and we tried Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus is pointless. You could get all the Paramount content on other, on other streaming services, so that's kind of pointless. And uh, Disney, it, I love Disney. Big fan of Disney World. Love Mickey Mouse. Love Donald Duck. Love the whole thing did not love your streaming service. And the main reason why is because I don't like anybody strong arming me into using their service. Oh, in order to watch our Marvel stuff, you have to get our streaming service. Uh, there's one workaround with that. When Hulu is allowed to show something on TBS or TNT, then you get to watch all of that Marvel stuff. So Thor Ragnarok's on there, Black Panther's on there, and a handful of other Marvel movies are currently on there right now. So you've watched my last video on streaming, and now you're watching this one, and you want to know, what do I need to get this thing up and running? The first thing is going to be internet. So when you call your cable company to cancel your TV and your phone, because you no longer need a triple play, I mean, who uses their house phone anymore? Don't cancel the whole thing. You still want internet with good speed. Trust me, you don't want to deal with buffering. You don't want the wait time of when you click to watch a show or a movie and it's just swirling on the screen. Get good internet. If you're in the $90 range, you're in a good spot. The second thing you're going to need is some type of a device in order to stream from, meaning an Apple TV, a smart TV, a Roku, something along those lines. I know the cable companies also make these little boxes that could do it as well. We use a Roku stick in our house plug it right into the HDMI in the back of the TV, it gets the job done. If you get a smart TV, certain smart TVs give you access to Hulu, 
but they don't give you access to Hulu Live TV, whereas you can do that with YouTube TV and other ones on your smart TV. So if you're looking into a smart TV, look up the brand, look up the options, go to their channel store, see what you can get, because you want to make sure you could get Hulu plus Live TV. The last thing you're going to need, and it's more of a knowledge thing, is to know your technology. So when you are buying your different packages, so with Hulu, the package is the package. They don't have Hulu in HD, Hulu in 4K, Hulu, you don't have those different packages. You just get Hulu Live TV, it comes in HD, everything looks great, all the sports look fantastic, especially if you put it on a 4K TV, it looks incredible, really nice. I would actually say YouTube TV's sports video quality, not as nice, it's just not. And they're the same thing, their package is their package. Now with Netflix, you could get higher packages. You could get HD, you could get 4K, you can actually get packages depending on your TV and your device. So that will be just completely up to you how you wanna do that. So those are the three most common questions I get day in and day out whenever somebody asks me about streaming. The last thing they ask me is how much am I spending a month? Uh, at the time when we switched out of streaming, we were at $180 a month with Comcast and they were letting us know that we were gonna be moving up to $220. We are at the all-in of about $175 a month. When you take into account the two different streaming services, again, Amazon is more about the shipping than anything else, but you take in the two streaming services and the internet, and that's where we're at. So that's it for today, update. We've switched back to Hulu, and we are not leaving Hulu anytime soon. We're a huge fan of the interface, the content library, the video quality. So happy to be back, especially now that they got the NFL Network, MTV, and a couple other channels that we love to watch onto Hulu Live TV where they didn't have that before. We are extremely happy to be back. It's as if we've never left. Otherwise, y'all, if you have any other questions, I want you to comment below, because I can keep making videos on this content and help you convert your house to a streaming household, take the power away from the Comcasts and the cable network providers of the world that just want to keep inflating your prices every single day. So frustrating. So I wish y'all the best, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.